Okay, cord cutting 101 for the probably 12th time. Hopefully this time I get it right. Um, excuse the tire, I'm about to go running. Right, I'm going to just run through the cord cutting technique very quickly. A little explanation so that you can just follow it through. Um, and then the second time I'll run through it again with no explanation. Just so you know how quickly you can do it. Um, right, cord cutting. Cutting cords with a person, place or thing. The first thing you do is name the person, place or thing. And I'm going to do a practice one with Louisa Holder, my housemate. So I say her name first, Louisa Holder, preferably out loud. Put one hand over crown chakra. Just to crouch one hand. One hand over crown chakra, one hand beneath the base chakra. Um, so extend up and down and so. So if you look from the side, I'm actually holding my hands in front of my body. This is my energy field all around me, so I'm going to cut through the energy field. And I start by bringing the top hand down through the energy field. And what I do is I feel for any type of change in the air, basically. So I feel for if there's any warmth, um, if there's any resistance, if it feels different in any way. It feels, sometimes it feels thick. It's like there's something there blocking your hands from pushing down. So you keep going until you actually feel the change. And let's say that I start to feel that there, and usually what I feel is some sort of warmth and it feels the air feels thicker. Then I stop there, and that tells me how big my cording is into the weak holder, which is this big. Okay? Huge. And what that means is that there's energy flowing out to her and back into me. We're getting secondhand energy from each other. So from that point, uh, what I do is I start to push that cord down and I'm imagining that it's reducing to a tiny, the width of a tiny little string, right down into the left hand. With the left hand, I grab that little string, I just stand there looking very suspicious, and I start to cut through any remaining cording through my whole energy field, right over the top of the head, down beneath the base chakra. Then I'm going to push her cord and her energy back to her by doing that with my hand and also with the breath. So, right through the field, and now I'm going to retract my cordings and my energy back into my body. So I tap in, tap, 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 tap in with the hands and imagine any of your cordings coming back into your body. Take your attention to your heart chakra, which is right in here, and sort of standing up from the sternum, front and back. And now, See a golden sphere expanding out from the heart chakra all around you and completely surrounding and protecting you. And this golden sphere goes right over your head, around you and beneath your feet into the earth. And it's solid from the outside and solid from the inside. So if you try and send your cords back out to that person or thing or place, it's going to bounce right back and come back into you. If that person, thing, place tries to reconnect with you, it's going to bounce off your golden sphere and go back to them, back to the source of that cording or energy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to connect to two things actually. We're going to take a tube up from the top of the sphere right up into mother, uh, Father Sky. Okay, so right up into the, the very heart of the sky and then we're going to take another tube and go down through the earth to the very core of the Divine Earth Mother from your golden sphere. And now imagine gold and white light pouring down from the sky through your tube right into your body into your heart chakra and expanding out through your body and expanding out into your surrounding area within your golden sphere. And see white gold light bubbling up from the air, coming up into your heart and expanding out through you all around you so that you're completely filled and surrounded with this really powerful sort of energy. And this is the most powerful type of energy you can connect into and if you stay corded into it, you stay connected into it, you are going to be a very happy bunny, I promise. So that's it. That's the whole technique done. Um, if you intend to do this with a particular person, place, or thing that causes you a lot of grief, um, that bothers you a lot, that pushes you up, that makes you upset, that's challenging, do it 10 times a day, 21 days, and you'll feel like a new person, I promise. So let's just recap really quickly. So it's the week to hold up. Feeling. Change. Push down. Reduce to a string. Grab with the left hand, chop, blow and push back. 
tap in, expand out Golden Dome, Golden Sphere, connect to Father Sky, connect down to Mother Earth, bring in Golden White Light, expand it out, and you're 100% connected to Divine Father, Divine Mother, and the mystical, magical Christ start evolving within. That's your core cutting exercise. The other one I'm going to record is called brain switching, uh, which occurs if, well, just to be honest, through the normal stresses and strains of daily life, challenges, plus also if you've thought of something from the past, you bring your past into the present and the future. So your brain goes, flips, flips around. So we're going to correct that, and I would suggest you do this at the moment, probably again, ten times a day. Anytime you're feeling tired, dizzy, faint, can't think, your brain's not working, any time at all, it's really powerful. All you have to do is say this. I'm correcting any front and back brain switching. I'm correcting any left and right brain switching. I'm correcting any top and bottom brain switching. I am commanding energies to flow cross laterally through me, and I'm connected 100% into the Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and the mystical, magical Christ child evolving within. That's it. Simple. And you'll feel so much better. And I have to say, this is all learnt from Susie Anthony. I can't take credit for this, but it works. Um, so, that's it. If you need any more information, please do contact me. I will fill you in on any gaps that I've missed in this short recap or short running through of the techniques. And I wish you well and good luck. Thanks.